Hey guys, CyberCon11 here, and welcome back to another episode of Wizard101. But, something might seem a little different. This is today's bonus episode, because since today's a holiday, I'll feature a bonus episode. And I won't be like this to all holidays, but since it's St. Patrick's Day and I'm like 95% Irish, I just thought, hey, you know what, maybe it's celebrating by an extra video. And the last time, when we left off, I got a new makeover. What do you guys think? I look more of a genius than I do in real life. Kind of. And then I was kind of talking about my wizard I've been working on solo, but we're going to focus more on the playthrough. Alright, so let's... Um, you know, we haven't been working on Cyclops Lane, so might as well get started on it on this episode. And when we also left off, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we also fought a boss. We got a hat, but we instantly sold it because, you know, thug life. Okay, come on. Don't want to get trolled over here. I know that usually trolls only spawn over here, but now and then, on very rare occasions, you can find a Cyclops. We are not going to worry about this guy right now. Because we had a quest to talk to this guy up here, which I actually forgot how he was. I think he was a jerk last time. What are you doing here? Only talented wizards like me should be out on these dangerous streets. Okay, so he's the friendly one. Think you have what it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. All right. Magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're going to recover the one inside the spooky dark cave. Every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go, so I'm hoping for better from you. Battle everything in the dark cave until you find the ruined skull. Ruined skull. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Just had to take care of a quick thing. And, okay, push the wrong button. Alright, so we're going to explore the spooky dark cave. Okay, defeat any undead creatures and collect ruined skull. Wait, was that a player I just saw? I will just be seeing things. Hey, you look like a ghost. Let's see here. Oh, this is going to be easy. Try to be threatening all you want. I just realized last episode I don't think I've heard I don't think I checked my maximum mana. I know it's gonna be a lot well super impressive compared to last time. I'm actually gonna check right now. Did not oh okay. One of these things, huh? 64. Come on. Come on, you somehow ghost pieces of wood thing. And okay, you got a random guy here. I bet he's just here to troll me. Oh, wait, whoa! What level is that guy? Because I don't think just anyone could get that wand. Or he could also just be a little bit weaker than me. What's his plan? Is he... How much damage does that do? Okay, yeah, then we're both gonna finish him off. I wonder if this is the only time when someone just crashed a battle in the middle of a recording. And if this guy somehow does see this on YouTube, I'm not trying to offend you, I'm just pointing that out. It's nice that I actually have backup. It's kind of a bummer that we have more monsters to deal with. Let me take care of the last guy, please. Let me take care of the last guy. Uh, come on, let me take care of it. I think after this quest, I'm gonna head back to the commons. 
and there's some more mana collection. Did not. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Was that the same guy that I saw as on that mound? Did not. Is there maybe a photo of what you want? No, just any undead. Gotta heal up. Maybe they're talking about a rotting fodder. I think maybe the chances of that would be more likely, or I'm just making guesses. Let's give him a stun. Or it could backfire and get me hit. I think this is actually a one-hit kill. Yep. Did not. Oh, just what I was hoping for. Okay, you know what? We're gonna head back to the commons. I don't have time to pause another time, just letting you guys know, due to my schedule and stuff and stuff. Come on, mana. Aha. Ooh, six per wisp. I think one of the things I will also do when I'm not recording is I might play mini games to fill up my potion bottle, so it could always come in handy. Because we don't want some kind of bad thing to sadly occur in the middle of a recording. Which, if you guys that are watching this, that are YouTubers that play this game, I'm pretty sure you guys can understand. Come on, maybe like two more wisps. There's two right there. Okay, nope, there's one right there. Oh, okay, you know what? There's none. Okay, they're just being collected like crazy. Isn't, isn't there any that fly in here? Okay, one more. I want to get 100%. Oh, well, you know what? I just realized that this girl might actually have a card for me. You are returning the book I left on a bench? I didn't have one with me today. Maybe I lost it last week. Oh, that book. I gave that one to Regina for her to use as research for a science project. She's just inside Gollum Court if you want to give it back to her. And I know that she's also a card salesman. Okay, so I can get the snow shield when I'm level 10. And currently... I'm only level 7, so that means I only have 3 levels to go. Oh, and I guess I got all the mana. Alright. I think I'm almost at 1,000 health. Alright. Ah. That one moment when you get like that, uh, kind of like reflexing in your stomach, where it just like brings up acid, you know, just like that stomach acid or whatever it is to your throat, and it begins to burn. I'm having that right now. damage right there. Serious damage that doesn't get you squat. I think I'll just sell you. Okay. Heal up. Uh, and fight begin. Alright. So I think I'll pick... Oh wait. I should have done that if I was going to go first. 
Well, at least it'll prevent me from possibly getting more damage. And dang, that throat thing again. I don't even have a water nearby me. Okay, that failed. Like usual in this episode, so we're just gonna have to deal with the serpent attack again. Only one of the funny things I did want to state in this episode, this is episode 11. I find this kind of funny because my username happens to have an 11 in it. This, can, this might be a failure episode, you guys, so I'm pretty sure this might be useless. Oh, yeah, Serpent Beam. Finally! That didn't take long at all. And I can just tell by looking at my clock, we only have nine minutes left. So, I guess maybe this episode might not be a total waste after all. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. Time to show that we gotta go, yo. And that's my new hit single, and there's a Cyclops. So I guess we're gonna pretty much prove to that kid that we're not weak after all. And I think there's also a guy straight ahead. Does he have an exclamation point over his head? I just want to check real quick. No, he doesn't. But if he doesn't have anything else for us, then we'll take the quests from these two guys. You found the rune skull? Huh. Faster than I could have imagined. Professor Jake will be pleased with me. I told a few students to pick up death relics up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. No doubt gabbing instead of working. Can you look after the students on the slim, slim chance that something's happened to them? I'd start with the trolls. They look shifty. Aw, uh, dang, I was really hoping that that was going to level us up. But you know, I think I'll just collect to those guys' quests in the next episode. Come on, trolls. Let's see what you're made of. Just letting you know there might be a random time in this episode where I might have to turn off my microphone. Just letting you know in case a part of this episode might get quiet. Oh, we got double trolls. Like, one wasn't enough. Never mind. We're good. Freeze him for the heck of it. I guess we'll do double wand attacks. Like one wasn't enough. We have to do two. The rest is up to you, stranger. I think we just love how these characters just sink to the ground. Defeat and one ring trolls. Uh, we don't need this. How many do we have to kill? Defeat any. Okay, so I guess one of them has a chance of dropping something. Okay, so it's another one of these chance battles. Hmm. 
What's up, Trolley? How are you today? I might have to unequip the wand, but I guess we'll save that for episode 12. Just when problems seem like they're subsiding, my foot's falling asleep. Are you the one? Oh, wow. Oh, and I guess I killed him, and he turned into a treasure card. I'm taking you. Wait, are you automatically equipped? Nope. I just felt like Pokemon. You defeat a monster, and then what do you do? You keep it. Kind of feels like that, but this is not Pokemon, and this is about wizards. You don't trap animals and balls. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. By the handwriting, a Cyclops wrote this. They never dot their eyes. It's addressed to M, whoever that is. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire, Bats! The Cyclops have kidnapped the students! Oh, good thing you found this. We must act immediately! I hope they're not gonna blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. I know! I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while I was... On second thought, I think you should go tell him. I'll stay here and... Keep an eye on those Cyclops. I guess we gotta go inform the teacher, and that's where we're gonna end the episode. What do you want? Professor Drake sneers at the ransom note. Here, take this message to Victor Darkwood, the robe shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. I wonder if we'll make it in time for the rest of the episode. I just felt like Sharon. And wow, my foot's asleep. I can't even feel my foot at all. Come on. Alright, come on, radar. Where is he? Oh, there he is. The robe shop. Ah, a message from Professor Drake. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. Professor Drake's laundry. Freshly cleaned and pressed. And don't let it drag on the pavement now. I'm just going to say my goodbyes now because I just want to finish up this situation with Professor Drake, but if you guys are enjoying this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to show your support, and as well, you can also follow me on Instagram and check out my website, and stay tuned, because once when you're subscribed, you'll be updated for every time I upload a video, such as this one, so uh, wait, I'll say my last bit after this part. That certainly took you long enough. Professor Drake shakes his head at you. You're still worried about those missing students? Yes, well, this is definitely a problem. Take this message to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. 
I will see you guys next time. Peace.